I'm going to be talking today for a brief couple minutes on a topic called It's in the Vine. It's in the Vine. And I think we can all um, agree that right now we're going through some stuff as a nation. And a lot of us are going through a shift right now in our own lives because of the things that we're subject to in our world conditions and our world surroundings. The political arena at the moment, it's an election year, is just absolute chaos and we're going to build my political party based on bashing somebody else's political party and I'm going to gain followers because of how bad you are and vice versa. Somebody say amen. <laughs> it, it's, it's, just, it's a mess right now. You turn on you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube social media of any outlet you turn on the news and any outlet and it's coronavirus this and coronavirus that and rioting this and rioting that and protests here and protests there and defund the police and not defund the police and i'm not here to argue either side of it my point that i'm trying to make is we're going through some stuff right now doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on that's not my point this morning the fact is we're all going through some stuff right now and every one of us has had to go through a shift some of us in this time since January have had a major shift in our jobs. There's a lot of people that lost jobs due to coronavirus. There's a lot of people that had to do some stuff since coronavirus that they didn't think they would have to do, but because of desperation and hunger, there's something about being hungry physically that'll make you real desperate and do stuff that you didn't think you would do in order to get some food on the table. And we could preach right there and just finish and go home because there's something about hunger that creates desperation and out of desperation, you'll do something that'll invoke a response from God because God responds to a response. I look to my youth because I say that literally about 15 times in every youth message that I preach. Do I not, Philip? <laughs> God responds to a response. And right now there's people that have had to go through a major shift, maybe as a business owner in your business. Back in November of last year, if Tommy came in and had a little bit of a sniffle and a cough and, you know, he was having some allergies, you wouldn't think anything of it. And your brother, get back to work. You'll be all right. You're not dying. But right now, as a business owner, there's a little bit more wisdom that goes into place. And your brother, you get up out of here and get out of my business and you go home and stay home for 14 days until you get the COVID test. I don't want you anywhere near my workers. Right? And we have to right now because we're going through a shift. In order to protect the whole business, you've got to be a little more careful at this point in time. We're going through a shift. We're going through some stuff. Parents, I want to talk to you for just a, a second. Back in December of last year, everybody was real happy just being a parent, raising their children in the ways of the Lord, bringing up uprighteous and, and upstanding young individuals that are an asset to society. Somebody say amen teaching them in the ways of the Lord, being mom, being dad, rebuking when necessary. <laughs> Loving at all times. Keeping a roof over their head, putting food on the table. You were real good doing that and then you find yourself all of a sudden in February, now you're not just raising them in the way of the Lord and putting a roof over their head and food on the table and now all of a sudden you're the, the psychology teacher, the math teacher, the English teacher, and the gym teacher, the counselor and the babysitter. And the babysitter's not for the five-year-old, the babysitter's for the 15-year-old. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> you're going through a shift. Students, y'all have gone through a major shift. Now all of a sudden, mom and dad aren't just mom and dad. Now all of a sudden, mom and dad are also teacher. Are you with me? Teachers, you've gone through a shift. Before this, all this nonsense that's gone on, you went to school every day and had face-to-face -face interactions. Now you've got to do stuff over Zoom. Right? Ministry leaders... Your ministry has been rocked. You know how I know? Because the youth ministry has been rocked. Online youth ministry is rough, y'all. They'll get online for everything else in the world except preaching. I mean, they'll watch the most ridiculous stuff. TikToks and swiping stuff and 
I'm watching for the laughs because I know who's on on TikTok. See what I did there? <laughs> it's strategic preaching. 